as we were kind of watching the battles going on and down in Washington, it was very frustrating seeing how hard it was for all the different groups to get together and work together to improve our nation's economy. And it got us thinking about, well, you know, improvement starts at home and there's a lot we can do as a small company. And that's what we're doing here with DNA. So we reached out to our friends at uh, Pfeiffer Orchards up the road near Dover, Delaware. Our friends at Abbott Mill, a historic old functioning mill in Milford, Delaware. We reached out to the University of Delaware and their science labs to help us on the east side of this project. And to Dito and to uh, Governor Jack Markell and his office, because our goal was to do something and celebrate it by making and finding Delaware's official yeast drink. This is actually the first time in about 48 years the mill has actually produced a consumable product. I think it was about 400 pounds of barley went through and uh, we had to take the bran, which is the outer kind of shell off the grain and break it up to expose the white germ inside so um, it worked for the fermentation process. So I've got one of the multiple bags of our buddy Chad, who works with us at Dogfish's Homegrown Hops. My name's Chad Collier. I'm the purchasing manager here at Dogfish Head Craft Brewery. I grow some hops in my house. Hop is primarily used for uh, a bittering agent in beer to offset the sweetness of the malt. My name is Katrinka Howard. I'm the Quality Technician at Dogfish. We worked with Nancy Gregory and Tom Evans from University of Delaware, who are plant pathologists, and we went to Pfeiffer Orchards in Dover and worked with Bobby Pfeiffer on getting some, some wild yeast. Well, Sam contacted me about fruit flies, which was sort of an odd request because uh, usually we're trying to get rid of them. And what I did was take some peaches, cut them up, leave them outside for a day or two, and um, it just naturally attracts them. And then when they came up with their, with their equipment, they gathered up the fruit flies and they took it from there. Hi, I'm Nancy Gregory. I'm a uh, cooperative extension associate here with the University of Delaware. We went out to Pfeiffer's Orchards, put out petri dishes, um, put little pieces of peach skin on, exposed some to the air. Uh, trapped some fruit flies in some of them, and we came up with a, a huge number of petri dishes and colonies on those dishes, and then we carried those forward and sent them to Katrinka and Steve to, uh, to test in, for fermentation. So it's, it's been an exciting project. And we found this one wonderful, vibrant, unique yeast strain, which we called initially strain number eight, uh, that we are now using to ferment this beer with today. I'm thrilled that here in Delaware we can actually get things done. You know, there are lots of places around the country these days where you can't get anything done. Uh, this is a big deal, and I am just, I am thrilled to be just a small part of this. Congratulations to all of you. We're really proud of this project. It's bringing together the historic community here in Delaware, our government, our government. It's bringing together education, agriculture, and small business entrepreneurs. So this beer should go on tap somewhere around Halloween. Look for it. It's called DNA. Cheers. Thank you.